Welcome back. We're getting brand new information uh, from our newsroom. We can confirm two water employees who were shot that we believe started this entire chain of events mm -hmm. uh, were taken to regional. Uh, that's also where that deputy was taken. And again, we don't have the conditions on the water employees, but I can confirm through Sheriff Wright uh, that that deputy was shot twice in the arm and is going to be okay. And we believe that shooting with that deputy went down on Amelia Street, where we have dozens of uh, law enforcement right now. Yes, and Jarvis Robertson has been live for us there along Amelia and Howard Street. Uh, where I could see everything behind him still. We believe that the suspect is in one of those homes held up at this point. Jarvis, we know that the sheriff said they're trying to talk him out of a house. Any developments on your end? Well, Cody and Victoria, I have seen some deputies running back and forth there off of Amelia Street, but we don't know which home they're actually focusing on. But again, as you can see, still at this very moment, a lot of officers are here on scene right now from the county and also the city. A lot of concerned people actually driving through this area as well. Not too long ago, I spoke with a gentleman who was very concerned. He says that he has a daughter right here um, at a camp somewhere on Amelia Street. I asked him, uh, well, I I told him that we he would have to talk to the officers because at this moment we're not getting any new information i do know that they did talk to the guy as well that guy and the woman as well so it's unclear again as to what home or where exactly the suspect is held up at this very moment i can tell you that the spartanburg county uh, emergency mobile command center is here on scene as well guys this scene is going to be active for quite some time unless that suspect comes out and surrenders themselves now, we did see the sheriff on scene not too long ago. Um, I did see that he left. He probably went to a different area here, uh, maybe to check on his officers or just gather more information or intel that he needs for this case. But again, guys, a lot unfolding, a lot developing, still a lot of questions that we're waiting to get answered. I am sending text messages back and forth with law enforcement to try and get those answers. Once we get any new details, we'll be sure to pass it along to you. Cody Victoria, back to you. And Jarvis, as we look at this scene again, this is where all of the uh, focus is right down Amelia Street. My sources are confirming. Now, this is my sources, uh, and I'm comfortable with saying this, that it appears all gunshot victims that have been found as a 448 are going to be okay. Uh, so that's the first time I'm getting any really hard reports on those two city employees. So that is some good news. Again, I, I don't go with my sources unless I feel comfortable that I've checked with multiple. And as of 448, it does appear those two city employees are going to be okay in the sense it doesn't appear their, uh, their gunshot victims are life-threatening. I do know the deputy that was shot is uh, going to recover, too. And this is breaking news. I just talked to Greenville County Sheriff Hobart Lewis. Uh, Sheriff Lewis is confirming they have, office, they have deputies now on scene, and they are assisting in this standoff. So that shows you the magnitude of what is unfolding on Amelia Street, that we have the Greenville County Sheriff's Office arriving on scene. So that matches with what we are hearing from viewers on I-85. Mm -hmm. These are called Bearcats. They're called armored vehicles. That's what you see when SWAT shows up. They use these to shield their officers from shots. They can get close to a home and they can negotiate and stay enough distance between them and the suspect in case shots are fired. So Again, new information for our newsroom who's listening uh, to our live broadcast is that the Greenville County Sheriff's Office is on scene assisting the Spartanburg and Sheriff's that, Office. That's, that's, Sheriff. that's Sheriff Hobart Lewis right there. So uh, we now have Sheriff Lewis on the scene. Again, folks, it shows you the magnitude and how serious this situation is because I just ran back in the newsroom and it's what everybody's questioning. What triggered this suspect because from all sources we're hearing from is this guy literally just walked up to these employees for the city water company and approached them asking what they were doing and then shot them that led to a pursuit that pursuit led to amelia street where uh, that suspect was confronted that's where multiple shots were fired. A neighbor told our own Jarvis Robertson, who's on the ground right there, talking with folks that he heard rapid fire. That means there probably were multiple shoot shooters. That means probably law enforcement shot back. We do know a deputy was hit 
by gunfire. Uh, that deputy is going to be okay. Then after that, it appears, and we now can confirm the suspect ran to a home and is now holed up in this home. So we are now wondering, does he know this area? Is he from there or did he run to a random home? And are there innocent people inside this house? That's the scary part. Yeah, we don't know that. And I don't, you know, we don't know if anybody, um, anyone knows that at this point. So, um, of course, it's something, it's something to think about. And um, we'll continue to try to get the latest information. I know Cody's been in contact with both uh, Sheriff Chuck Wright, Hobart Lewis here from Greenville County, who we just saw arrive to the scene. It just shows you the magnitude of this scene right now and what's going down. 